So in this video, I will show you um, all the accessories that I have uh, accumulated since owning the Ricoh GR3, which I owned since uh, last year, in November, it's when, I, it's when I bought it, when I bought it. And since then I accumulated all, this, all these accessories. Some I already had, uh, for example, I already had this case over here, which I used to use with my um, Canon S95. And it works fine for, for the Regal GR3 because it fits perfectly. And what I do, instead of putting it in my jeans pocket or my pants pocket, I usually uh, usually have a carabiner here or I just put it inside the belt and carry it with this to avoid um, having any dust go in the, in the sensor. Um, so that's the reason why I carry this instead of putting it in my... Um, jeans pocket so that's one accessory that, that I already had and what's cool about this case is also you can put batteries here actually there's another accessory that I had so the case and batteries here these are third-party batteries that work just fine so this is an original original battery DB 110 and this is a BRT-LI-90B Wasabi Power. Uh, both work fine. Of course, the Rico's going to work better, but this one works equal, equally as well. So um, what's cool about this battery is you get two for the price of one. So I think it'd be like $13 um, for two batteries and a charger. Uh, so it's really cool. Uh, a charger that, that you can plug in the wall. So that's another accessory. And of course, you've seen my uh, filter adapter to attach to the to the Rico GA1, which of course you've pro probably seen this in the previous videos. You just screw it on like so. It's right there. Okay, so that's another accessory that I, I bought and I used from a camera show. Uh, also, I made this purchase, which is the Flash Q22, uh, version 2. I haven't used it as much, but I just bought it because it's, you know, I want to see how it works. And uh, I will start using it more often. Uh, I want to see what I can do with it. It was pr pretty cool little Flash. Um, since, you know, this, the regular GR3 doesn't, doesn't come with the Flash, I decided to uh, buy one and see what I can make of it. That's another accessory that I bought, so put that aside. And of course, you've seen my little rig for uh, shooting portraits, landscapes, and a tripod uh, with the filter system. And uh, pretty cool little setup here. Uh, really right stuff, which I bought at a camera store. Uh, camera show, yeah, camera show, excuse me. And uh, you can see my video on that. Uh, post it down below or somewhere where, you, where I posted it. But that's a really cool rig that I use often actually for landscapes. Because the Regal GR3, I'm sure I, I mean, I, I go out and shoot, I guess what they call street photography, but I mostly shoot it for landscapes, which I, what's what I'm really into. When I shoot film, I mostly shoot landscapes, and I, now with this, I, I tend to use this more often too. Um, it's more convenient, it's more immediately, I don't have to process film. I still shoot film, but when I want something quick, I, I reach for this. Um, uh, but yeah, really cool camera. So, of course, I recently got this. I got the 21 millimeter convergent lens for the Rico GR3, which of course you screw on. Put it on like so. And what's cool about this, I also have the filter adapter. I don't know where it's at, but I can also attach filters to this wedding lens, which is really cool. Again, for landscapes. Uh, what else? So that's the 21 millimeter, and of course I have a DIY uh, viewfinder, which I made myself. 
uh, taped up to the 28 millimeter frame lines. So I have another one of these. Actually, I'll bring it right now. I'll show you how it looks like. So when you buy these fisheye viewfinders, they come in a little, little box like this called the Acura Fisheye. And I bought these bulk. I, I bought like seven of them, seven of them in a the bulk sale on eBay. And uh, I'm not going to be selling these. They're pretty, pretty valuable, pretty useful. And I have four left. Uh, so this is what, the way they come. So this one I'll be converting to a 21 millimeter uh, viewfinder, so I can use this. So as you can see, it's just a fisheye lens, which uh, you can easily convert to any any fighting lens. So instead of spending over a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars for a viewfinder, uh, look for these on eBay. Um, Acura fisheye viewfinders viewfinder and uh, they go for about 15 20 bucks uh, I'm not sure I haven't really looked but the, the, uh, I'm sure the cost are on that much but that's that's how I made my uh, viewfinder and the last accessory that I got for this camera is a cable release really cool cable release uh, again for landscapes and the way this works is you just attach it where you charge the battery over here Plug it in. Okay. And this also uses battery. It uses one AA battery. You switch on the power, turn on the camera, and you can stick, take a picture. Like so. Really cool. Also, uh, it works for video. You just Push and um, push forward, and you can shoot video with it too. Um, but this is perfect for landscapes for long exposures, uh, which I will I want to use more often. So that is a quick video of all the accessories that I have for the Ricoh GR3, and uh, I don't think I could buy much else for it. I mean, what else do I need for this camera? Nothing else. Um, this strap I had before from another camera and it fits perfect. Um, but yeah, I don't think I could buy anything, anything else for it. <clears throat> Maybe another case, but no, I'm, I'm happy with the case that I have right now. This one. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, yeah. Um, What I'm looking for, maybe what I'm, what I'm looking to buy is a small tripod, like a uh, Joby uh, tripod, because it'll be more portable and I could take uh, more. Uh, it'll be I could take it with me more often. That's the reason why I want to buy a more portable tripod. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and that's my quick little video on all the accessories that I have for the GR1, GR3, excuse me. You know what? And I've been toying with the idea of buying an original GR1 on eBay. Uh, there's a couple that are almost mint and if I were to buy it I would just buy it to like uh, keep it in the box as a collectible. I don't think I would even use it because I just love that camera and uh, just have it around the house and as a collectible. I'm sure it'll go up in price too but that's, that's not the reason why I would buy it. I would mostly buy it because uh, like I said I love that camera and every, every now and then I'll, I'll go out and shoot it. But I don't shoot 35 millimeter as much as I do anymore. Um, I mostly shoot 120 film, and with digital, I use mostly this one, of course, and, and my phone. And stay tuned for more. I, as I showed you guys in the previous video, previous video, this is my new toy. Again, it's a 120 uh, panoramic film. I already shot a roll and. Um, I have developed it and I'll scan it and I'll show you the results as soon as I'm done talking. Uh, you get six shots uh, out of the six, only two came out pretty good. This is the one that I'll show. Um, I might show another one. 
but uh so far i'm pretty happy with it um really happy with it it's a pretty cool camera i uh, can't wait to shoot with it more and what i plan to do is shoot some uh, slide film with this some velvia 50 or velvia 100 and see what i can get again this is a 6x12 medium format camera really cool currently i have a so I'm still test uh, shooting with it, so I have a roll of uh, T-Max 400 in here. And once I get serious, I'll start loading up some uh, Fuji A-Cross that I have, 100, uh, in the fridge, uh, which I'm all stocked up. I have a lot of that. And of course, it's the original A-Cross uh, 100 Fuji film. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my goal for this camera. And uh, this little release my release cable is what I added from, from, what I, from, already, from what I already had and I added it and uh, yeah uh, I couldn't be happier with this camera uh, really cool good results and uh, I'll show you right now okay thanks for watching and stay tuned for more